All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing another portfolio review. I'm excited about this one. I hope this one can shed some more light into what you should and shouldn't be doing when you are applying to jobs as a junior software engineer or you're trying to get your first job as a junior software engineer and you got to make those projects to display your work that you know the ins and outs and the do's and don'ts of what you should be doing. Now, if this video gets you inspired to, of course, create better projects or tweak your resume just a little bit better to make it sound better or to not sell yourself short, man, just leave a like, stay tuned, subscribe, and let's get into it. All right, so we got a portfolio here from Ms. Bala. Ms. Bala, um, sorry if I say your name wrong, man. Again, my name is Xavion. People mess it up all the time, so... Hey, man, I, I feel your pain, all right? But visually speaking, I love the way your portfolio looks as soon as we land, right? This is something that will, it will keep somebody on the page. It'll keep them scrolling because it looks, okay, this is this is very aesthetic, right? Scroll down, get to see your skills, you know, typical portfolio stuff. HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Oh, you got some Java. That's really good. This shit, this will make you stick out. Uh, React, SAS, Tailwind. Okay, okay, okay. All right, can we go to your projects then? All right, Tasty Hub. Okay, looks like you got a recipe website. Let's open it up. Oh, very professional, very slick. Okay. All right. Got stuff loading up. Okay. This is pretty decent. I've I've built something like this before as well when I was learning um, using the it's an API that deals with all the recipes. Let's just see something. Chicken. Let me see what happened if it's chicken. Okay. What about chicken parmesan? Okay. So I'm suspecting that you probably have an array of items. This is not actually being hit to an API or a server, right? So if I go chicken, yeah, no API calls are being hit. So this is a mainly a front end project. So he's probably sorting on these where, well, he's filtering on chicken um let me see cart okay um can i add things to the cart these aren't clickable okay notification okay so this is just like basically like a template site it looks like okay images load a little slow but it's okay all right, this is a decent front end project. Very, very decent. Um, scale of one to 10, I'll give it like a, a, a six. One, because you could have hooked this up to an API and made it a little bit more realistic. But, and uh, like some of the stuff looks like you don't have really add to cart things on here. That would have been a good feature to have. Um, and then if it's connected to Firebase, yeah, you probably aren't, like are fetching these, but I didn't see any API calls, so I'm not sure. Okay, so you have another one called Blogit. All right. And um, another thing, like not everybody's going to know that this is going to be a link, right? So it would just be helpful to make this a little bit more descriptive of what it is so they know that they can actually get there. Otherwise, they're going to probably try to click on this. You know, so just a little user experience. Blog it. I like the I like the loading co component here. I really like the loading component. That's really nice. Blog it. This looks like a blog website. Um, okay, yeah, it's a blog website. Very nice, very nice, very simple. Um, it would be nice to 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 have the ability to add a blog uh, or or some sort 
um, maybe if we logged in do you have a login for us yeah see I'm not gonna log in a um, little dark I'm not really I don't really like the design um, of it but and it doesn't really have any functionality besides going to a page um, so uh, scale of 1 to 10 that's probably like a 3 let's get here this one doesn't even have a link full stack web application like as Twitter short information sharing website mainly is focused on tags to filter the post all right well can't see that application seafood restaurant okay react UI for the seafood restaurant website is designed to deliver okay let's look at it okay can't really see the text here um, not really good UI image is really big but that's probably the thing behind it like you probably could have made this like a hundred view height and it will be just the height of the view and then it'll you know you'll be able to be here and have everything you need in here like from here it'll it'll, it'll capture most of this stuff um, I like this section I do like this section here it's a little busy is it responsive Oh, and it's responsive. This one should go out 100%. This one should go out 100%. Or be beside this one or something. Um, but I like this. Okay. This is what you call... So, you, so this looks like a real application. This looks like a real application. You can't see the text your bad UI no, nobody wants um, to hire a UI who has bad UI on their portfolio nobody gonna want to deal with that uh, let's see what else you got menu trim map none of these work all right none of these buttons work this one could use some some work but it has potential definitely has potential I really like some of the feature it looks like a real application you know real website see Netflix UI probably seen a thousand of these but looks good though um, I know you can't play the videos but you can fetch all of them um, you should probably have at least like title on them somewhere so people know what they are because right now you're just showing images and you're probably getting this from the database um, or the API let me see I will hope you are uh, no you're not these are all images my man these are all images Oh, okay. You are making an API call. Okay. This is good. I wonder why the images come like that. But anyway, this is good. You are actually hitting the, um, I think it's um, what, like movie DB or something like that. This is good. Um, a lot of people do these, though. Just keep that in mind. And if you're going to do it, like, like add a like add what it really looks like you know like this looks good but they have you know titles on them I don't know what it looks like in your country though granted but you know if you're applying for a US job then you know it just looks like a a uh, page with a bunch of images on it but it looks good as a Netflix clone clone uh, let me see what else you got about me section very long I like this UI and UX though I really like this UX the on hover moves over add over um, a, a little bar That's pretty sweet I like that certificates okay this lets you know that you've done some training I guess um, 
you know postman that's really good you, you know java you should have if you know java have an a front end connected to a java back end that would be a stand out project for sure and go into deep how you built the api and the things you needed to build the api some roadblocks that you had to overcome talk the language if you can talk the language you'll be able to catch the 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 lead developer's ear and be like okay yeah he knows what he's talking about like yes that's very important um you have a, a blog nice this is good this is good you haven't posted since april 2nd though but this is good let me see what happens when i go to the blog okay that's what's up i hope you didn't use chat gpt i'm just kidding <laughs> but no this looks good this looks good this looks good okay so so hey man um your portfolio i mean on, on a scale of one to ten i would give it like a, a good solid six you still have a couple projects that you need to work on enhance a little bit and maybe even create some new ones especially if you have java back-end experience or you learn some java connect the front end to to java and it's probably going to be connected to a database you have to probably connect it to a database right so you can be pulling data from java or you you can be pulling data from the database with Java, displaying it in the UI. Like that'd be great, a great project and explain everything that you had to do in one of your blogs, right? And then have a good description of it in like a page before you go to the actual website. And like that will, first, you will probably only need that project. If you, cre if, if you guys create even as front end engineers, right? Most jobs, you're not only going to be doing front end stuff. You're going to be introduced to back end stuff. And a lot of times you're just going to be thrown out there and be like, hey, look at the code that's already out there and make it work. And but if you already if you come in with that experience already, then you don't have to sweat about it or you don't have to constantly hit up your seniors to help you. You know what I'm saying? It would be like we're hiring somebody who knows more than the most, right? So um, tweak your projects. And of course, man, good luck to applying to jobs. I hope the best for you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, man, like the video, subscribe for more, send me your portfolios to review, and I got you. And I'm out. Peace.